What's up guys? We got Sabrina Teenage Witch, Season 5, Episode 19, Sabrina the Activist. So, okay, so this episode starts off with Roxy sleeping and Sabrina, you know, <clears throat> trying to, like, like, manicure herself and Roxy, like, and Clever and Tony loves and Roxy's like, Sabrina, you have been out for three weeks, you've been in some kind of funk, even your perkiness has lost its pop. And Sabrina's like, um, she's still perky. Until a rain cloud shows up and rains break down on her head. So, so, so after the intro, we we see Zelda, we see Zelda, and they're like, Hilda's been gone. So Hilda's gone. So, 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 so she can't buy a new car. So yeah. So yeah. So, so Sabrina's like, you see the rain cloud too, huh? So, yeah. So Zelda's like, so Zelda, like the only, well, the only way the rain cloud will disappear, the, uh, the rain cloud appears when a witch is there's something up with her. So Serena reveals that she, Zelda, that 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 Serena's depressed because her breakup with her boyfriend, which we can all say is probably Kevin because he's such a forgettable character. He only appeared in three episodes and then then just disappeared and was never seen again. Probably because he and Serena broke up. So yeah, so Serena decides to to lift the rain cloud off her head by doing something positive, which is is doing protests to this to these apartment buildings that are being demolished. And yeah. So while that's happening, Zelda, Zelda pretends to be Zelda's husband on the phone to get Zelda a new car. So, so the dude's like, "Hey, I'll give you this much money." So she goes down to the station. Is it called a station? She goes down to the station and realizes, and realizes, and 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 Zelda, the cat's like, "Hey, is the dude trying to rip you off?" And she's like. Hey, he's a, he's a nice gentleman, dude. But, but, she, but yeah, yeah. So anyway, so so eh, anyway, so yeah. So so Sabrina decides to to talk to the dean and the dean. So Sabrina writes an article, and yeah. So so yeah. So. So the dean reads it, and people kind of the bo the board will vote it. So Morgan, Sabrina, and Morgan, and Sabrina, and Roxy are hanging out when Morgan's like, "Hey, there's a there's a there's a new place downtown, Josh. I wish you hang out." But Josh is like, "Uh, I'm kind of busy here, trying to help Sabrina," and she's like, "Um, then fine." So yeah, you hang out with Sabrina. So yeah, so. Yeah, so, so yeah. So Sam the cat decides to look at a car and he gets his head stuck in. So Serena discovers that, hey, this whole scene, the cat being stuck in a car, being stuck in a car hood, is driven, is dr diverting people away from the whole apartment, the, apart the apartment's being demolished. So she decides to shrink herself down and and go into the car and use magic to fling the thing on the cat out of the car and yeah and it's just like wow so so yeah so yeah so to fling him out of the car and yeah so too bad for Sabrina the people still want their apartments demolished so they can move. And Josh feels like he broke up with Morgan. Because of course he did. Because Josh feels like. Josh feels like. I just have a lot to say about Josh. As a character. He feels like a jerk in season 5. Because he feels like he and Morgan are compatible. Is this the reason? Is this, is this the re way to try and get. Hashtag Sabrina Josh. Hashtag Josh Bina together. Hashtag Jabina together. Or or sauce together. I don't know. But anyway. 
But, yeah, so that kind of wraps up this episode. Kevin O'Connor was like such a forgettable character. Like, he went Sabrina and him together were only together for three episodes. Like, what a forgettable character. Like, why did they get rid of him to begin with? Like, he and Sabrina seemed like perfect for each other. He was a college. He was at Adams College. Sabrina was at Adams College. He was a magician. Sabrina did Battle of the Banes in one episode. She was a very good singer. So why did they get rid of him as a character? Maybe, as I said, they wanted to push Josh and Sabrina together by breaking up Morgan and Sabrina. And Morgan and Josh, sorry. To get hashtag Sash together. Or Jabina. I don't know. Jab Bina. I don't know. But that's kind of all I have to say about this episode. It was okay. Not my favorite episode. The activism himself was okay. Morgan just felt like the villain of the episode. She just felt like a villain of the episode because she because she did not care what Sabrina was doing. She did not care. She tried to pull Josh away from what Sabrina was doing to focus on her. It's just like, was, like, Josh just wanted to help his, his friend. And all Morgan wanted to do was pull Josh away from her, from his friend to focus on her. Was Morgan the villain of the episode? Or was Josh just a jerk? Tell me in the comments below. Was Morgan the villain? Or was Josh just a no? Or was this episode where jerk Josh just resurfaces? I don't know. That's why I call him Josh being a jerk. Jerk Josh. I don't know. But. I don't know. But. But yeah. I don't know. But anyway. Like. Comment. Anyway. See you guys. I'll see you guys on another episode of Sabrina Teen and Twitch.